What is up everybody and welcome back to Free to Play Last Day on Earth Survival. Let's turn the game sound on quickly, there we go. So today I am on a quest to get rubber parts because off camera I've been doing a little bit of levelling. I'm now level 19 and I can make myself a sewing table to start getting bandages because there we go, we've got the bandages there but we can't get the cloth to make them so we've got the sewing table for bandages and we also need some rope to get the meat dryer to start making ourselves some jerky. We've unlocked this, we've probably got enough hide to make that armour but I'd like to save it for making this stuff probably. But we have got the healer here and they're giving us an XP buff so we'll be back in 30 seconds time. Okay and we're back and there we go we've got brain weed seeds effect. So I did get the daily beans and water and I've put them away in my base. Oh yeah, I should probably show you the progress I've made on my base between videos. So we have had the cord come and attack us, but look! Completed the radio, built the forge and upgraded all my floors. And we've got a campfire and there's 16 in there. And I'm working on just making charcoal now because it's better to use charcoal than normal wood. Making a nice stockpile of resources in here. This is all of our random bits. We need one more rubber part. And in here, this is all of our food and healing stuff. And a few other odd bits chucked in. So this is all going to get turned into cloth for bandages. And here we've just got... Hang on. We've actually got an entire armor set here. There we go. Perfect. Right. Let's take that with me. And, you know, I'll take the spike devastator as well. Ooh, I'm hungry. Let's eat up a carrot soup. Hello, dear. I haven't had the second puppy appear at my truck yet, so I don't know if that's still a thing in the game or not. Guess we'll find out eventually. But, can't do anything with the puppy yet anyway. Right, so, I think easiest place would be to go to the pine bushes to try and get some of the rubber parts. Alright, I'm back in and I've just been tagged in Discord quickly from Felix saying, Shade, big credit to you. Fun that you took the chance to play from the beginning completely free. I look forward to seeing the progress. I know it's possible. <laughs> I like how he tagged me and sent that message while I was recording another episode of it. Right. Come on, give us some rubber parts. And we're 88% to getting another skill as well. So I really want the extra pocket. Okay, no rubber parts, but tape will be useful. Ah, damn it, I was trying to creep around it there. Two, three, four. Perfect. Right, so yeah, we're just going to need to work our way around the zone. You know, might as well chop a couple trees once we're here. I've noticed a weird glitch. Let's see if you can notice it. When I'm using the... What is it? The hatchet to chop trees. Right at the end of the swing, the hatchet turns into the spear. For literally just one frame. I'll, I'll show you again in a second when I farm something. Right, let's go and beat this guy up. So this is a roaming zombie. I think this is going to take two hits to kill him, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Right, so hopefully... Is there going to be a tree or something around here? No. Okay. Ooh, and we're 96% on our next tree. Okay, here we go. Right, let's grab these berries quickly. And... Oh, we got a floater bloater. Let's switch out to this. So I think this floater bloater is easily going to unlock the next skill for us. And there we go. Hey, we got another skill. Perfect. Come on, give us the pocket. Give us the pocket. What are we going to get? <laughs> Chance to get a high ranking puppy when breeding. That's incredibly useful for me, isn't it? That's going to come in very handy. I really wish they'd make it so you could pick what traits you work towards. Okay, so we've got a lot of zombies here. Right. Let's so try and sneak in. Okay, this one's separated from the pack. Right, now we should hopefully be able to get this one that's crouched around the back here. We don't smell. Ooh, that's, that's a fast biter there, though. They do more damage, so let's... Oh no, that is a normal roaming. Okay. There we go. So we've saved, what, I think like two hits of damage. And let's get this skilled. So I hope we've got another chest up here. Looks like they were guarding it. Uh, no room for rope. Um, 
I've got two pickaxes on me. I can throw one out. Ah, I forgot to I forgot to crouch there. Oh, and there's an AI in that top corner. Let's go see if we can kill him and get anything from him. Hello. Don't run away. 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 Yeah, you didn't run away. Perfect. Um, do you really want any of this? Dad hat? Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, you can replace that, and you can replace that. Perfect. Right now, come on, give us the rubber parts. I really miss having a tactical, a, a military backpack. So nice to have. Okay. Now this is where we run into issues. Because we need pretty much absolutely everything at the moment, what do we take from here? I'd say we take the bolts. But we're still going to need to find a rubber part. Inventory is full. Okay, so we've actually stacked up on pretty much everything we can take. What are we getting from you? Another bit of rope. Not bad. Rope's always good because I can make armor with it. Right. One, two. And let's go back to our trusty spear. Try and sneak around behind this zombie. Because I got so many comments on the last video telling me off for not using the sneak attack. Uh, it's kind of funny. But yeah, I'm just used to having loads of weapons and guns and not needing to sneak. There we go. And let's get this one killed. Right, I can't remember off the top of my head how many chests we actually get in these zones. There we go. Right, somewhere around here though will hopefully be just one more box if I'm lucky. Go. Okay. Hey, and we leveled up again, so we're now level 21. Right. What engrams have we unlocked? What blueprints? Let's see. Okay, so we don't get these until 22. That's unfortunate. And then at 28 we get the nail board. Probably won't make too many of them. For my experience, none of the weapons are really worth making until you get to, uh, I'd say, the shovel or the spike devastator. But that's level 34. Although, we did get here in, yeah, pretty much just one day. So we might be able to get... Yeah, we should probably be able to get 34 today. Right. Can we get these guys all killed up? And... I hate how long the fast fighters take to kill with these. Right, so we are getting double XP at the moment. Hey, that is not the access card that I want. I want the alpha access. Ooh, getting the XP buff and then clearing out the lobby in Bunker, Bravo and Alpha. That would level you up, I'd say, a good couple of times by itself. Did I already check that? Yeah, I did. Right, have we got any more chests around here? Is this actually going to be it? Here we go. Have we opened this one? Yes, we have. Damn. Right, it's going to run straight up this way. Oh, here we go. We've got another AI. <gasps> He's got a nail board for us. Yay, we got him. Um, can I... There we go. Ooh. I'm going to take his shoes. That's a decent health nail board. I could take this instead of... Instead of two seeds. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Now... Is there seriously not a single rubber part in this entire zone? Right, so I think what we might have to do is go and drop off a few things at base. Yeah, you know, I'm going to chuck this guy on auto for a minute. So I'll be back in a second when I've worked out what I'm going to do. Okay, so coming back into base quickly just to drop off all of the stuff we've collected so far. There you go, that's four more in there. And we're going to be getting our first complete stack of leather. Which is pretty good. But, hang on, if we take a look quickly, we should now, in fact, have enough rope to build the tanning rack. Let's take a look. Um, where is it? Meat dryer, that's what it's called. Okay, so we need the planks. There we go. And we've got a meat dryer. Furniture, let's build you. You can go there. Perfect. Let's start working on our first stack of, well, first almost stack of meat. So I think that takes, what, 10 minutes each? Yeah, 10 minutes. Right. Up to eight tape total. That's not too bad at all. 
Right, and we'll drop off all these bits. Sort this, take the tape out of there. Put the tape into there. Ten tape total, even better. Right, so we still are on the hunt. Still, still, still on the hunt to get, to get, to get, to get. I've forgotten what I want to get. I want the rubber parts, that was it. Right, how are our carrots coming along? Alright, that's pretty decent. And anything going on on the radio? I'm actually curious as to when I'm going to be able to summon the raiders. Because I've heard some people say they could call them at level 20. Other people saying not till 50. So it's just going to be wait and see. Nah, can't walk straight up on them. Doesn't work apparently. Um, where's my water? There we go. So we are probably going to need to build a water catcher soon so we can start refilling that. Um, three bits of cloth. I can get this done. Two bits in there. There we go. Can I... What else was it? Scrap metal. There we go. And wood. Uh, perfect. And there we go. Got a rain catcher as well. Furniture, rain catcher. Um, rain catcher can go off to the side there. Excellent. Right, now let's um, grab all of our empty water bottles. Six. Perfect, so we're already on the way to becoming sustainable with water. A lot quicker than when I was playing through last time. Because I just had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Right, and now I think we're going to head off to the... What was it? The limestone zone nearby us hopefully get that bit of rubber because it shouldn't be this difficult to get a rubber part I want to unlock my sewing table haven't had any airdrops or crash planes or even the dealer showing up today unfortunately I was hoping we'd get one of them an airdrop especially because we've got a chance of getting a Glock from that and if we can get a Glock then we can start working towards our first ticket crates right Let's just go straight up, chop down a couple of trees. I really wish they'd remove the option to tap to chat there, since you can't actually do it in this area. It's going to take us so long to unlock the wolf, Sector 7. Right. Ah, uh, damn. Right, let's get, let this one come all the way to us. Perfect. Hey, you got another, another free bit of rope. Right. Uh, it's a fast biter. Damn. I really don't like fighting fast biters this early on. But they give us a decent chunk of XP. Ah, uh, I was hoping I could sneak all the way to him. He shouldn't have noticed me from that far. Oh, that sucks. Right, heal up a little bit. Okay, he didn't drop us anything. Right, so we've got a load of zombies guarding a chest over here. There we go. Now, are we able to get in behind them, or just... Yeah, we got a sneak attack on one of them. <laughs> I'll settle for that. So yeah, using the sneak attack, definitely a lot easier. And the rabbit is currently throwing a tantrum. Well, actually throwing the food bowl. So I might have to take that away from him, because he's being naughty. Nibbler, stop it. <sighs> Pesky rabbit. You know, what? already started breaking this. Might as well finish it. And five. Right, come on, give us a rubber part. Oof, our armor is really all almost broken. No rubber parts still, but we got a nice ore. And the ores are always nice because it's a little bit stronger than a spear. Right. So yeah, just gonna have to kill absolutely everything here, I think. And you can die. I might need to make a second campfire so I can have one constantly making charcoal and the other just working on making me carrot soup. And I could probably, in fact, make a second grow bed. Four, five, six. No, weapon broke. Alright, punch the roaming zombie to death. Hey, level 22. But that also means we did just recover our health. But what have we unlocked? Here we go, we've unlocked the better armor and a crowbar. Which, ooh, we can probably make, we can make crowbars quite easily. I might, might actually start using crowbars instead of spears. Hey, come on, I want my bit of rubber. It's just going to mean doing a lot of iron farming, I think. How is it this difficult to find one single piece of rubber? 
I think once I get the next tier of armor, like once I've got a set crafted up of the thick armor, I might start going to the yellow zones because we'll get a lot more XP there. We'll hopefully at that point have some better weapons and some more healing items too. Right, so we've opened two chests already. There should be a couple more in this. Zone. Ugh. Of course, didn't want to sneak up on you anyway. Right, here we go. So we've already got enough to make, what, I think seven crowbars? Well, the leather at least. Metal-wise, we can probably make four. But this box here, I've got a good feeling about this box. This box is going to give us the rubber part because it cannot be this difficult to get one rubber. And no rubber parts, but some beans. Um, I'll eat the berries and I'll take the beans. And we'll sneak up on this fast biter here. Ah, that's nice. Right. So, at the moment, I'm just looking for iron and chests. Hey, doggy. Nom, 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 nom. Right. Have I got... No, I haven't got any room for any of that stuff at the moment. Hey, we've got an iron node up here. I have no, honestly no idea how it's this difficult to find just one bit of rubber. I might have to head over to one of the AI bases and smash my way through that, see what I can find. Yeah, I think we might have opened all of the chests here, haven't we? Uh, that's unfortunate, to say the least. Have we opened this one? Yeah. Hmm. I know there's an AI base just a little bit north of us. Haven't been to that one yet, but I can't remember if I can break in there using normal hatchets or not, or if I need level 2. But I suppose there's only one way to find out. Um, I'm going to put myself on auto here to farm up a load of resources to get a stack of each. So I can get 20 wood, 20 stone, and then make a load of hatchets when I'm over there. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back, people. Got player 8095's base here, and the dealer right next to him. Ah, and this person is called Vadimich. Vad1 Mitch. I'll just call him Vadimich for the purpose of ease, ease of talking. Right. Hopefully, this has just got some nice twig walls that will be easy for us to break into. Let's have a look. Okay, uh, this is the one with the stone walls in the corner. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's see what they've got in here. Have they got anything nice in their truck for us, or is it going to be completely empty? I think it's empty. Yeah, I think the trucks are always empty, aren't they? Unfortunately. So there's one chest that we can definitely break into if we go through the walls. Ah, here we go. It's going through this way. Right, and this will break. There we go. And let's make a fresh hatchet. There we go. Right, let's see what we're going to get in here. Come on, give us a rubber part. Uh, no rubber part, but I suppose some fresh bits of armour wouldn't go amiss. Although, actually, I'm going to leave the armour there. Just because I really want the rubber. Okay, no chest here, but we can see a chest through there. Actually, we can see three chests through here. Right. What are we going to get? Requires a hatchet. There we go. Right, so we can only make, I think, two more hatchets after this. Come on. Ugh. No rubber parts, but I'll take that. And that stuff. Ooh, we've got a chest here. Come on. Give us a rubber part. I need it. Still no rubber parts. How are we this unlucky? One, two, three, four. Yes! There we go. We got a rubber part and a load of other things, but we're not going to need these bits yet. But yay, we can make ourselves a sewing table. Right. Let's quickly... Nope, don't want to do that. Because I just got a load more wood, I can actually make a few more hatchets and break into this section too. So I wonder if we're going to be able to... How far into here we'll get. Is it just this 2x2? Two two? Yeah, it is. Guys, iron hatchet. 
Ah, here we go. Ah, requires a hatchet. That'll help if we actually have one. Right, let's see what's in here. And not bad at all. I'll leave it all here for now, though, just because I've got no way of carrying it. Okay, and I think we can make one more hatchet after this. So we could open two chests. And there's none here at all. Requires iron hatchet. Requires C4. Iron, iron, iron hatchets. Okay, so that's all going to need iron hatchets. Right. What have I got inventory wise? Um, are there any shoes around that I could take? Did you have shoes? You did not have shoes. Right, I can leave behind the three rocks. Um, I could take a golf club. What do we have in here? Useful, but I'm going to leave it there for now, especially that med kit. Hmm. See, I want to find something really good that's worth taking back. Like, I'd say the iron is pretty worth taking. I'll leave the one wire here for now. I think that's that's pretty decent. And I'm going to take this cloth instead of these two water bottles. Because we got water at the base. Alright, we finally got it. That shouldn't have taken that long to find a few little bits of rubber. Right, let's go make ourselves a sewing bench. Sewing table, whatever it's called. And what's this? Ooh, and there's an airdrop right on the opposite side of the map. How much energy will that? That'll take 50 just to get to it. We've got five minutes. Okay. We should be able to do this. It is going to involve watching an advert, which sucks, but it'll be fine. So we're going to have to go into the base, drop everything off, head over to the airdrop, come back, and then probably build the sewing bench. Actually, you know what, I've got five minutes. We might as well build the sewing table now and get some stuff sewing. Get some stuff being made. And, yeah, they broke our back walls, so we can just walk right in. Right, that can go in there. Iron! There you go. Start making me more metal, please. Right then. And look at that, full stack of 20 of that. Okay, so we want to make ourselves a sewing table. Right then. Rubber part. 15 iron ore well, 15 actual iron and 20 planks there we go and now can we place this down has to be placed on a level 2 floor ok so we could place it like this but I don't want to get everything a bit too cluttered but you know what let's put that one there let's move the sewing table up to there Perfect. Right. And there we go. Well on our way to getting some better armor. Perfect. Right. Let's drop this. Drop this. Um, that can all go into there. This can come out. And there we are. Working on now officially a full stack. Right. Does any of this stuff belong in there? It does not. Up to 15 tape in total. I like it. And, you know what, I'm just going to throw all these bits into here so we can head off to that airdrop. Right, I think that should be everything that we need. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Still no option to call anyone on the radio? Nah. Alright then, let's head over to the airdrop. It is going to involve watching an advert. So, I'll cut back when I'm at the airdrop. Alright, and we're at the airdrop. Threat level. Locations of the global map differ in their difficulty. Green ones are simplest, yellows are harder, and red ones are most dangerous. But the more difficult the location is, the more interesting things can be found there. That was difficult to read whilst it was scrolling past. Well, not scrolling past, but whilst it was about to disappear. Alright, so I want to try and get the deer. There we go. And let's kill a toxic spitter. So we did hit level 23 a minute ago. There we go. Right, airdrop. Come on, give us a gun. I want to get our first ever gun. I think, if I remember correctly, we can actually get a gun from the bunker. And we're quite uh, we're quite close to this, so it might be worth heading over to the bunker just to grab that Glock. And... Are you kidding me? <laughs> Single rubber part. 
exactly what we were looking for for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Hey, at least we've got a spare one now, I suppose. I think we've got three spare now. So we might soon be able to make ourselves a second one. Right, and let's sneak up on you. Boom. There we go. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Second episode of Last Free to Play on Earth. See you all next time. Bye.